one, ignition, and lift off, go Falcon, go PSF. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. incredible view means that Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40. And right now we are throttling down to prepare for max Q in about 30 seconds. As you may have heard us explain before, this is the period of highest aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Power and telemetry nominal. That's because at this point, we are seeing the greatest difference in dynamic pressure, which is increasing with the rocket's speed, and ambient static pressure, which is decreasing as we move up through the Earth's atmosphere. Vehicle is supersonic. With that call out, we know that Falcon 9 is moving faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. With confirmation that we've passed through Max Q, we have three events coming up in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff, stage separation, SES-1, or second engine start one. Main engine cutoff, or MECO for short, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines will shut off to slow down the vehicle in preparation for the next event, stage separation, or yeah, stage, has started. stage step for short. That's where the first stage booster will separate from the second stage. Right after stage step, the first stage will start its journey back to Earth, tar targeting a landing on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas, which is currently stationed in the Atlantic Ocean, about 680 kilometers downrange. Now, during that time, stage two will continue on its journey to space with the third event, second engine start one, or SES-1 on the nets. And this is where the single MVAC engine will ignite to propel the second stage along with the PSN Satria payload to orbit. In addition to these three major events, the fairing halves will also separate less than a minute after SES-1. So keep an eye out for all of those coming up in about 10 seconds. 